Alrighty, let's kick this beast off here. It is day 18 of Miss Langford's Trials and Tribulations in the Zombie Apocalypse. It's been a few days unpacking those cars. Uh, doing a little bit of mechanic work. Harvested our cabbages. Because uh, our cabbages came in. So I got quite a few cabbages from that one harvest. It's been munching on those for a few days there. Unfortunately, they're all going to rot once the electricity goes out. Because we still don't know how to use a generator. Which is getting to be a bit of a problem. So today, the plan is we're going to try to solve that problem again. You can see our cabbages came in, I replanted. Radishes are going to be next. Uh, but let's grab some gear here. Got some more 45 auto rounds, so let's grab 1911 for our emergency gun. Get us out of a sticky situation if we need to. Aren't going to bring all of our ammo because uh, we're not going to do things that are quite as risky as last time. But it's still good to have a at least a gun with a magazine in it. Just in case we get jumped by a big crowd or something. Give us a bit of a fighting chance. Alright, so we'll grab that. Our water, we should refill our water a little bit. Run over to the well and do that. Uh, but the plan for today is we're going to go search some of the more remote houses around here. Uh, in the hopes of finding this how to use generators book or trapping book or fishing book. Preferably all of the above. Uh, but I want to avoid going back to that small town as much as possible, so... I'm gonna do that. Let's take a look at the car's condition here. So I managed to put those new tires on, inflated them, but our engine is down to 45%, slowly degrading. Which is getting to be a bit of a problem. Uh, and our gas, we're at three quarters of a tank. Still running off of the gas that we picked up in Rosewood. So, while it's not at crisis level yet, we are burning through our gas here. So our gas is going to become more and more of an issue over time, but for now we're okay. Got more than enough to go where we need to go today and get back. So yeah, we're going to go to some more houses nearby and search those houses. And hopefully it'll be a little bit safer than trying to go into that town that is swarming with zombies. So we're going to go down the road here a little bit. There's that. Did we check this driveway yet? Yeah, this is the burnt out house. Yeah, we already did this. Okay. So we'll keep trucking down the road here a little bit. Until we find the turn that we're looking for. And we'll go down there and check some more of the houses there. Got a bit of a cluster nearby. Not super nearby, but nearby enough. It costs a little bit more gas to go to these further flung areas, but worth it because it's a lot less risky. There's fewer zombies around. So let's see. Yeah, I think this is the place. Got one zombie there coming after us. We'll just pause and spear this guy to save some car condition. Come here, buddy. Oh, there goes the spear. Grab the nightstick. Probably should have checked my spear condition before I went. Just drop it. Not really worth using the duct tape to fix them, because you can just make more with that same duct tape. Have them at full condition. So 
got one house over here. Got a shed over here. That one's got a garage. See a couple mailboxes there, so there's probably a couple more houses. Let's take a peek around, see if there's any zombies. Well, it's looking pretty safe. Got three houses around here. Alright. Well, let's get checking this area. Let's start with the shed here. Let's see what we got. Door open? Nope. Window? Yes. Alright, got a gun locker. Uh, nothing good in it. I think we already have a wrench. Metal pipe, metal sheet, we'll take those. We'll need them if we ever want to make metal crates. Screwdrivers, another spear. We have enough hammers already. I don't, need I don't really need more hammers. Ain't planning on killing that many zombies. Let's check the mailbox here. Engineer magazine. I don't care about smoke bombs. Looking pretty clear. Oop, there's not too many zombies around here. Haven't seen hide nor hair of them. in the back here. Oh, looking pretty safe. I hear one pounding on something. Yeah, they're banging on the garage door. Let's see if we can't creep in behind them. Sneak up. Sneak in. Gotcha. Oh. Swing and a miss. Alright, got more metalwork and stuff here. Let's take that. And nothing good on those. The zombie. A hand torch. Screwdriver. That's another spear. I don't think we need more flashlights. Oh, caught on the table. Alright, let's uh, head into the main house here. There's an open window. Yep, and the bathroom zombie coming out. Oh god. Really throwing himself around there. Oof. It's a tough one, that bathrobe. Alright, well, let's head in here. Got some medical supplies. Could be good. And I don't see any more in here. There's a radio on in the other side of the house there. I right, got a laundry room. Yeah, I don't really need any of that stuff. So that's fine. Let's check the bookshelf for what we're looking for. And uh, nope. Damn. Is yeah a radio. Let's go turn that off. So we don't draw in any more zombies there in the area. Does it have an emergency broadcast? Does not. Um, probably use some more empty bowls. Take the butter knife too. I uh, got some canned food, some sugar. Take that. Fridge still works. So a can of oats and some sugar. Good for making some oatmeal. Decent hearty food to be eaten. Sounds like we hear another TV, but it's on upstairs. I assume this is going to be the upstairs. If we have any friends up here. Nope. Storage closet, empty. Yeah, nobody in here either. Alright, let's turn this thing off. 
Don't need all that noise attracting zombies. Uh, a duffel bag, nothing in it. Umbrella. Let's take the duffel bag. I always use a few extra bags. Uh, some things we could dismantle. Do that. Get some more electrical training. Read some books between episodes too, so we got some decent skill bonuses going. Anything in here? No, just an alarm clock and junk. Take the magazine, take this thing apart. So yeah, hopefully we'll get a generator book from some of these houses, but so far no luck. A TV remote and some cigarettes. Take that TV remote, you use those to make um, bomb triggers. Not that I ever think I'm going to use them, but it's good to have the option. Some more medical supplies here. Uh, those alcohol wipes, I think I'll put in the fanny pack that I'm using as our medical supplies. They weigh 0.2, so we got to lose some things in here. Do we really need to carry the matches? Probably not. We'll lose a bandage too. Honestly, we don't need the painkillers. Let's take the painkillers out and put the bandage back. There we go. So now we got a decent first aid kit going. We can carry around in our fatty pack. To deal with any kind of injury we may get. On the spot. Without having to worry. So that's good. Alright, well this house is done. Don't see any zombies in the fields. Looking pretty safe. And that was the goal. Let's do something safe after... Uh, Bonanza we had last episode, the riskiness. Looking pretty clear. Let's go check this house. Door is locked. Maybe we can get in through a window. Come on. Got more options. There we go. Yeah, nothing in there. Let's cautiously go in here. Oh, bookshelf is empty. That's not good. Let's check the kitchen. Got some soup. So at this point, we got enough canned food to survive. You know, a couple months if we stretch it. But we aren't going to last through the winter. Don't get that generator book. And preferably a uh, trapping or fishing book too. Let's check the storage room here. No, nothing. Alright, got two more houses left. Might be able to find stuff in there. Let's uh, drop off what we got already. Decent amount of food. Throw all this in here. We'll keep the duffel bag in case we end up needing another loot bag. Check this house. Anything in the mailbox? Just a newspaper. I have a feeling these mailboxes are what's going to do it for us. Oh, we got a bathroom zombie. Ah, they're coming out. Let's get them. Hey <laughs> Looks 
pretty clear in there. Let's climb in through this same bathroom window. Nothing in the bathroom. Nobody in here. Metal sheet. Take it. Uh, banana. I am a banana. Uh, bread knife, butter knife. More spears. Got enough cigarettes that we'll ever need. Miss Langford is not a smoker, so we don't need to keep smoking cigarettes. It's not a trait that I like to take. Ooh, a big hiking bag. Hey, that's better than ours. Ours is a regular hiking bag. So let us swap out here. Put the big hiking bag on, and we'll move all the gear over. Get a little bit nicer weight reduction, a little bit more capacity. So, decent find. Yeah, much better. Cool. I prefer a generator magazine, but I will take a big hiking bag. I already checked the kitchen. Alright, that's it for this house. Let's go to the next one here. Last chance. Hope we find our generator magazine in here. Don't see anybody inside. Oh, now I do. Didn't see us. Let's see if we can't creep in there on him. Surprise! It's Miss Langford. Wonder what that was? A short blunt looks like, or maybe maintenance, or sneaking. One of those. Either way, our skills are looking pretty good. I got a leak, got some more milk. We can make a mildew cure for our crops out of that milk. Or bake a cake. We are so inclined. Some peas. Nothing in the bathroom. Yeah, there isn't even a bookshelf in this place. What a rip. Take part in this video game. Should we take this? Yeah. It only has a capacity of 10. Not really worth it. Alright, well. This area was a bust. Got some stuff. Got a new bag. So not a total waste, but did not have what we really need. Ooh. Auto manual for performance cars. That is the kind of car we got, so that is actually a good find there. So now we'll be able to fix the engine on it if we have a high enough mechanics. Well, maybe that's something we should start focusing on soon, is getting our mechanics up. So we can fix the car, then it'll increase our chances of, in that small town. Yeah, see? This would be quite bad if there were zombies around. Which there are. The car keeps breaking down. Uh, we got some warehouses here. I don't think those are going to have anything that we particularly want. I think there might be houses on the other side of this. No. Alright, well, 
We'll just take note of these. We're not going to loot them today. We may come back later, though. For now, let's go down this road a bit. Avoid the zombies. Oh god, another breakdown. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, we got a key on the ground here. Looks like these cars are all wrecked up. So we won't be able to drive them away. Maybe they'll have something in their trunks? Let's see. Let's see what this key is for. Got the gas can in case they have gas. And no gas. And no gas. Hmm. Just got a key to this one. And just a jack, which we already have. So, not really much of use here. Let's take a look under the hood since we got a key for it. Uh, yeah, you can't even take engine parts from these. You need the mechanics of four to do it. Let's take a look at this one. Same deal, these car wrecks, they all have 0% engine. Cannot take car parts from them. Oh, the, uh, I forgot to take all this stuff out of the glove box. Let's that. Put the empty gas can in there. For Yeda. Let's continue on here. 1800, about 6 o'clock. Still got some daylight. Still do a little bit. There is a truck here. Several zombies around it. Let's see if we can't draw them off and use this nightstick on them. Save some ammo and car condition. Construction zombies. I'll take a pair of these boots. But you know, that truck would be a good, good thing to bring back. I think. Where's that get? Oh yeah, I put the gas can in the glove box. All right, where is the rest of them? Several around here. There we go. Let's just run him over. There we go. Got another one here. Let's run them over too. A couple around that car wreck up ahead, but we can ignore those. Let's get in position. I think we'll tow this car out of here after we take a look at it. There we go. Turn the car off so we don't attract the lurkers nearby. Got a key for this thing. It's got some stuff in the back. Which we'll grab. Let's take a look in the cab here. Throw the key in it. No gas. A little bit of candy. Eat that. Looks like it's in pretty crappy condition. But that's okay, we can use it to practice mechanics. So we'll attach. Oh, we gotta get a little bit more space. Alright. Should be good. So let's get this thing attached to our car here. We'll tow it back. I can use it to practice mechanics. 
because it looks like it's not going to be in good enough condition to try to drive around in. Whoa! Whoa! That's not good. Physics get kind of weird when you're towing another car. But we'll just do it slowly but surely here. Got plenty of time to get back before it gets dark. I think there's a car wreck up ahead. Gotta get around, yeah. Gotta be careful to try to stay on the road so we don't lose traction. There we go. Yeah, we'll bring this thing back, use it as a practice car. Bop that zombie out the way. And let's hit the road. There's our spear. We left behind. So we'll just take this nice and safe, bring it back. It'll be good to level our mechanics with. I'm hoping to get my mechanics up high enough to uh, be able to fix the engine on this car. We'll have to find cars to take engine parts from, but there should be a few around. I mean, there's this car itself. Its engine's going to be at not 0% condition, so we'll be able to take parts out of it. We read the magazine for our car, so we can actually do that now. So that could be good. Get our car a little bit fixed up in better condition so we could go back to that town if we have to. At least have the engine break down less. And so we used up a little bit of fuel, not too bad. A little concerning because we don't have a source of fuel, so we haven't found any more, so it's like this is all we have. Until we uh, can secure a gas station or something like that. I think we'll tow that black wreck over to the farmhouse too. We can practice mechanics on that too. But let's get this one over there. struggling a little bit because we don't have a real road to drive on. If you lose momentum, look at it's Tokyo drifting. If you lose momentum on grass, it's really hard to regain it. Alright, well, let's drop this thing over here next to the chicken coop. I think this will be the spot for our practice cars. Mechanics practice cars. So let's unattach. Or detach, as they say in the civilized world. Alright, let's go grab that black car, too. Well, maybe not. Let's mess around the base here a little bit first. Yeah, you know what? Let's take a look at this car. Let's get some mechanics practice. See how far it'll get us before we bring that black one over here. We're pretty hungry. So let's grab some cabbage. Stuff in our face with some more cabbage here. Let's drop off this perishable food before it goes bad. I will need one of these for the farming. Some of our radishes have mildew on them. So we're gonna make a mildew, mildew cure too. This 
So while I'm thinking about it, easy to forget your chores. You don't do them right away. There we go. Make a mildew cure with this milk. How many can you make with the milk, actually? Just one. Okay. Yeah, these. Clear the grass off of here. But yeah, these two that are not growing as much have mildew on them. How much? Alright, that much. So we'll do this much. That should get rid of all the mildew. How much is that going to use? Whew, more than half. Yeah, this is not going to be sustainable because you did not find that much milk. So I think we're just going to have to deal with it. If our plants get mildew, they're just not going to grow as well. Yeah, we used the entire thing already. It didn't even get rid of all of it. Hmm. Lame. But we got it off of one of those plants. That's pretty good. Let's throw the rest of these seeds in here. That's where they go. Okay, let's run back here. Drop some of this stuff off. Okay, some metal working stuff. Banana in here, we gotta throw in the fridge. This is where I'm throwing the extra bags. Give you guys a bit of a view of you know where I got all stored up. Don't always show you guys all this. Throw this in our extra random crafting shit box. Throw these in the materials box. For these in the weapons cabinet. So we got plenty of knives for spears. Let's grab a new spear, bread knife spear. Uh, we got a tool, so we'll throw that in the tool chest. Okay. So we'll head back in here, drop the rest of the stuff off, and we'll do a little bit of mechanics on that truck. We'll just eat this right now. We are still trying to gain weight, so it's not going to hurt. Here we got. Need a wrench to do mechanics with. We already got a screwdriver. So I think that's all the tools we need. Let's see what the condition of this truck is like. Pop the hood. Oof, real bad. Need mechanics of five to take engine parts out of this. Oof. All right, well, let's start practicing. We've read mechanics for beginners, so we know how to do some things. So yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing this, just taking stuff off, putting it back on, take off every piece of everything that we can, put it all back on that we can, because that is the way to increase your mechanics. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing this, I'm going to do this for the rest of the night I'm sure, maybe we'll bring the black car over here and do the same over the next couple days, but I'm hoping to level up our mechanics enough so we can fix that sports car a little bit. So yeah, I think we'll end here. I'll catch you guys later for another day in this Running Scared series. Peace.